I have still to clean it. I think the dust is still from the 1970s on the top as well. And I promise I will clean it before I list it. Hello and welcome once again to M Cubed. I am Brian the Motley Mix Merchant. Thank you very much for dropping by. If it's the first time you've been with us, I am a Canadian eBay reseller and I am just doing it for fun and a little bit of money on the side, mostly golf money, which I was able to go out and do today after the rain stopped finally. But uh, yeah, I've been doing this for about six months now and uh, having a lot of fun, tons of fun with the thrifting and the researching. Not so much fun with the selling and the shipping, but that's part of the job, right? So uh, anyhow, that's what I do. And I chronicle, chronicle it all here on YouTube so you can see my mistakes and my uh, successes. And this week, there were some successes. Uh, I've been talking a lot lately about how I've been mainly going to auctions to get my product, but uh, I decided to actually do some serious thrifting this past week. Went to a couple of locations and went to what I call my honey hole Goodwill out in Niagara Falls there. And I got some great stuff. And we'll go over that in a little bit. But first, I actually did sell some things on eBay this week. So let's go through, uh, not really a lot of numbers. I've only sold five items so far in September. It's now the 12th of the month. So way behind my one item per day goal. But uh, the, the money number is pretty good. My money number is staying pretty steady for the, th you know, it says 60 day totals up in your uh, seller central there on eBay. But uh, my numbers are staying steady as far as sales numbers, but the actual number of items is uh, definitely slowed down here in the last couple of weeks. Hopefully it's starting to pick up a little bit now, but let's go over some of the things that sold on eBay in the past week, starting with this silver plated hairbrush. This was in the bottom of a box that I got at one of the auctions a few weeks ago. I think about three weeks ago, this one was that auction. Um, you know, silver plated, it had a little mark on the back and I made sure I pointed it out in the picture and mentioned it in the description very, very well. But uh, yeah, it sold. Sold for a full asking price of $19.99. I had free shipping on that. Really simple to ship. I just wrapped it in some bubble wrap, put a couple of pieces of cardboard on either side of it and dropped it into a bubble envelope and off it went to California. So uh, that one sold. Coming up next is an item I have no idea where I got it or how long I've had it or <laughs> if it was mine or if I got it at an auction or I have no clue. Anyhow, Three NBA-related DVDs. One's about Alan Iverson, and a couple of them are about the greatest plays and that kind of thing. Uh, sold that for $16 on a best offer. I think they gave me a fairly low-ball offer, but I had free shipping included, so I upped it a little bit on my counter offer to make sure the shipping was covered, and it was sold. Uh, again, I have no clue where I got these from. I think it might have been in a box of DVDs I got at one of the first auctions I went to. So total cost on these probably... A dollar for all three of them sold them for 16 the sheep included now it cost me a little bit for ship because if you've been following along you know that i do not cross the border bridge anymore to do my shipping after being flagged and pulled over a couple of times because of how many prod how many boxes i was bringing over i use a shipping service out of uh, the toronto area now, unfortunately, you can't use media mail when you use a shipping service. You actually have to go into a post office outlet to use media mail. So I could have shipped those DVDs a lot cheaper, but I had to go with my shipping service. And so it probably cost me twice as much to ship, but it's okay. I still made money on them because I have no idea how much I paid. <laughs> Up next, this was a good sale. This, These are, uh, Leviton is the brand. Accenti was the style of these uh, wall outlets light switches and wall plates it's pretty high-end stuff now it was more in use and more popular uh, from what i researched between five to nine years ago is when this brand and this style of switch was very very popular uh, but it's still out there and it's still being used and i got these for five dollars at the second auction that i went to about a month and a half ago now and i sold them for 55 dollars us with free shipping included and i was able to get them in a fairly small box playing my own style of jenga and got it all in there and shipping wasn't too bad so i made a pretty good profit on that one i think as i said about five dollars canadian so it's about four dollars us i sold them for 55 minus shipping minus fees probably a good 30 to 35 dollars profit on some uh, older light switches and outlets for home renovations 
So they're off to, they were off to New Jersey, I think. New Jersey or Maine, one of the two, somewhere out east. Up next, a couple of tiny little red Buddhas. These are uh, made of resin. I've also got some elephants for sale that were uh, in the same batch that I bought for a dollar at uh, one of the box lot sales earlier in the month. Actually, probably about a month and a half ago now. They've been in the store for a while. They're probably on their second or third go around in the store. But I sold them $12.99 with free shipping. Just again, one layer of bubble wrap wrapped around them and throw them into a bubble envelope and they're good to go. They're not going to get squished uh, inside there. So that was pretty good. That was off to California as well. I'm selling a lot of stuff to California. I don't know why. It's funny. I get a lot of notifications in the middle of the night or early in the morning because of the time change. So I don't know. Californians seem to like my stuff and that's okay with me. As long as they keep buying, I'll ship it anywhere they want me to ship it in North America. And finally, this sold yesterday, and it was a very nice sale, too. Uh, this piece of ceramic, it is a Sky McGee porcelain pitcher, water pitcher. And uh, it was in a box that I bought uh, at one of the auctions, probably two auctions ago, so that's about six weeks now. But the, the box itself cost me maybe $7, I think. This one was a little more because I saw a couple of nice pieces in there, and I had to bid it up. $7 for this box of ceramic the items and this one was one of them and it so cost to me about a dollar dollar fifty maybe for this uh, picture and it sold for full asking price of $34.99 and because it was a Canadian buyer they also had to pay $17 US towards the shipping and it worked out about right uh, I was going to eat up to about five dollars of the shipping if whether it was an American or Canadian buyer and it pretty much worked out even they paid 17 US which works out to about 20 and change Canadian and it cost me $25 Canadian to ship this box this afternoon uh, to Manitoba, where it was purchased from. So that's 24, it's about 21 US. So about, it worked out about even. I actually had a success when it came to shipping charges. I didn't lose all my money by paying for the shipping and uh, it worked out well. So yeah, beautiful. It was a beautiful piece, cream, eight inches tall, cream color with uh, uh, lace, uh, bottom that you can see through the holes in the bottom stand the, the feet of the of the picture so yeah it was nice and uh, again it sold full price uh, about 2003 is when that picture was from so not really technically vintage but uh, still a beautiful piece and it's off to Manitoba and it finishes off the five things that I've sold so far this week since my last video I'm really hoping it picks up soon but I've, I've, I've been doing a lot of listing I'm up to over 200 203 or 204 as of right now with a few more listings to do today before I get ready for what's coming up this weekend, which we'll talk about later. And uh, I've got some really a really good mix of different things that I picked up in thrifting this past week. Now, as I mentioned, I've been doing a lot of auctions in the last two and a half, three months. And, and because of the auctions, I feel like I've been spoiled. I haven't been able to really go into a thrift store, look closely, pick things up and see the value in them and so it's it's really been hampering a little bit of my thrifting abilities but i mean i've been getting some really good stuff out of the auctions you've seen them if you've been watching the channel if you haven't been watching the channel watch some of the previous videos for my auction haul and uh you can see i'm getting some really good stuff at the auctions but i really enjoyed this past week two times i went out thrifting once to my technically honey hole in uh, niagara falls the goodwill there the fairly new goodwill there another time to one of the value villages here uh, in, in nearby St. Catharines. So uh, before I get to the thrifting hall, though, there is one more thing I want to show you from the auction hall from two weeks ago. And the reason I want to show it to you is because it, it's another lesson and it's a lesson for me that I've been talking about time and time again, researching your items before you list them. I had these two items and I listed, I, I sort of did a, a a cursory search didn't find a lot on them and so i listed them i put them together in a lot and i listed these two items that i'll show you in a second and i put a price of about 29.99 on them with shipping as well 15 dollars shipping for both items a combined lot well, somebody made me an offer of 28.88 for some reason and when they did that it got me to thinking that maybe i should look at these a little closer because they were getting a lot of views in the first three days and a couple of watchers and then this bid came this offer came in 
like three days after I listed these. And I thought I better do some more research. Well, I, I declined the offer. I didn't counter offer. I just declined it straight out. I made the excuse that the price was incorrect and eBay had erased a, a digit or something like that. So declined the offer, took down the listing, and I've researched these things. And they came out of the last auction from two weeks ago. And this is what they are. Now, I don't usually sell religious artifacts. It's just too, too hot an area. But these are technically religious items, but these are both Joan of Arc items. This is a chalkware, 12 inch tall statue, beautifully hand painted. You can see, I'm gonna put this down so we can see the whole thing here first. Beautifully hand painted with her armor. And you can see one tiny little mark here on the front corner. And there's a little bit of scratching on the back too, on the base part, but this is probably from the I want to say the 60s or 70s. Uh, chalkware was used very much uh, to make these kinds of figures up to about the 1960s, 70s to replace porcelain, cheaper version of porcelain. And um, it's it's in gorgeous shape. I mean, other than these marks on the base, this is like pristine condition. Beautiful, beautiful statue. And then this was, these were together in the same box that I got. I think I got this box for a total of $4. It's a plate, it's a collector plate. And on the bottom you see it says Jehan Dark. Jehan is the medieval spelling of Joan. And it says 1429 beside it. And I think that's a year that she stormed this castle or led a, led a raid on the, this castle or this city. Now this plate I was able to find after a lot of research last night. It's made in a town called Bray. I'm, I'm pronouncing it Bray. B-R-E-S-T. Bray, France. Um, and I only found one other plate exactly like this that had previously been uh, online. It was on a French uh, sales site. Um, now I, I haven't done the exchange, but it was selling for 25 euros. I think that's about 30 to 35 dollars US, I think. I think it's the euro is a little less than the I don't know but anyhow so this alone is worth I'm gonna say let's say 25 to 30 dollars for the for the plate and there's not a lot there's I mean I mean I tried everything to find the green Joan of Arc plate everything France everything and nothing came up except that one plate that I was able to find way down in the search results on Google now as for the statue this beautiful chalkware statue, a similar one with a different kind of banner. It was more of a flag with a banner coming down like this, and it was about two inches taller. Sold for $110 US about three weeks ago on eBay. And i really glad I took this off as a pair for $29, because I think I have listed this now at 60 bucks. And I'm pretty sure I've put a price of about $59.99 plus ten dollars towards the shipping for this beautiful chalkware statue of Joan of Arc so uh, we'll see how that pans out I'll let you know in the future how Joan does on sorry Saint Joan does on the buy it now process on my eBay store so that was the last thing I wanted to show you from the auction lot from a few weeks ago unless I don't do anything else in the next week then we'll go back and revisit that auction again in next week's video but now a few things that I picked up while I was thrifting and first we'll go with the Goodwill store that is these three things I've got four things to show you and this one I don't know if you can see that that is a beautiful this is I think called Lucite if I'm correct plastic hard plastic called Lucite it's the same stuff on all the handles of each of the items, the shot glass, the opener, and the cheese knife. And then this does not have any handles, but it's nice tongs that are made specifically for it. Tortoise shell finish, Lucite, barware. Three good things. Good things come in threes, right? So uh, I picked that up for $3 Canadian at the Goodwill. Uh, I have still to clean it. I think the dust is still from the 1970s on the top as well. And I promise I will clean it before I list it. But I think it's probably going to be listed in the 
$25 range, $20 to $25 range, plus a little bit for shipping. It's pretty light, so it should ship fairly easily. But uh, yeah, for a $3 Canadian purchase, listing it at about $20 to $25 US. I haven't done real research on it yet. Actually, I haven't done any research on it yet, so it could be really low or a little high on my estimate there for how much I'm going to list it for. But I'm thinking it's a $20 to $25 item with the barware, as popular as barware is these days. And uh, the fact that it's turtle shell finish, tortoise shell finish, and lucite. Three great things all put together in one. So I thought that was a great find. And that was that was the first thing that I found as I was looking. And I, I was like, yes, I've got my thrifting mojo back. So now just to carry on. Well, sure enough, I carried on. And we talk about barware. I'm not sure this is going to count as, it should be barware. This should be barware. A couple of half liter milk slash wine jugs this is i mean i would i would i see them online as milk jugs but this is we put wine in these here in canada i don't know about you <laughs> but this is this is a wine bottle it's a half liter wine bottle and it has got still this fake leather wrap around the base in great shape i mean no rips no nothing on any either of these at all so it's in gorgeous, gorgeous condition, and it's marked. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, look, it's an anchor with an H on the inside. Anchor Hawking, a uh, couple of half liter wine decanters. Beautiful. These cost me $2 each, Canadian. I am expecting to list these as a pair for $25 US plus shipping. So. Not a bad little return for a total of a $4 Canadian investment. I will take that all day, any day, every day, as I say. All right, on to a couple other things. Uh, what's next? Oh, yeah, let me show you this. Whoop. Good catch, Brian. So I'm a golfer. If you follow this channel at all, you know this is half the reason, half the money I make profit from eBaying pays for my rounds of golf, pretty much. So... When I was at the Goodwill, I decided just to head over to the sports section just to see what I could find. Well, I found this. This is, I'll turn it up the right way so you can read it. Any golf fans out there? It is a Mizuno F60 three wood, 15 degree loft, if that means anything to anybody. And as you can see, let's see if you can see, get it up there. It is in near mint condition. Beautiful handle with no marks at all on it there's probably it looks like this club has been used one two three times in its lifetime uh, there's just very few markings on the head of the club here i got this golf club out of one of those big round cardboard buckets full of golf clubs for three dollars canadian it is listed right now on my ebay site for 45 dollars us plus 15 dollars for shipping that's how good a club this is. So don't pass by the golf club bucket when you're going to your Goodwills, especially if you know your golf clubs. As I saw the brand, and I'm a golfer, I know the brand. It's a Mizuno, and it's gorgeous. I also picked up a Callaway Big Bertha driver for $4, which I'm going to clean up and sell that probably for another 30 US. So don't pass by the golf club bin when you go to your local thrift store. So that was a great find. I'll let you know how that sells, when it sells. Golf season's over for a lot of the North, or ending for a lot of the North United States and Canada, but I'm sure there's somebody. I, I've got I've got a little bit of money says it's going to go to Nevada. Let's see where it ends up. Remind me if I don't mention it when the golf club sells. I think that golf club's going to end up in Nevada. Watch, we'll see. All right, last thing to show you from my thrifting. And this one was at the Value Village in St. Catharines. Uh, I don't hit Value Village much anymore because as we all know, prices are on the way up at the thrift stores because, not just because of thrift, everyone says it's because of thrifters. It's not because of thrifters. It's just the way the market's going. And the prices are still good at Goodwills and Value Villages and stuff. The prices are still good if you're buying something to keep for yourself. I mean, these are some pretty nice items that you could keep for a really, really good price. For those of us who are trying to resell them, well, they're starting to get up there a little bit, cutting into the profit margin, but still. And you know what? If the item's right and the price is right, you're gonna make some money. So you ready for this? 
How about this? Here's, here's one for here's a flashback to your school days. You ready? This. Let me hold this up a little bit. Up and up. Does that look better? It's a film projector, eight millimeter film projector. It's a Bell and Howell. It is in great shape. I have tested it. It runs. It has the bulb inside. The bulbs themselves cost $110 if you have to get a replacement bulb online. So the bulb works. Um, the whole thing is in great, great condition. I also, let me get this put down, I, as well as the actual projector is the side case with the instruction sheet still inside. Unfortunately, there's no take up reel, uh, but that's not going to affect the value too much. Uh, but yeah, this Bell & Howell projector, stay, cost me $10 Canadian. So that's $8 US. I expect, I still have to clean it up a little bit. I cleaned it up last night. It's in great shape. I mean, this must have been just in somebody's closet. And they, there was actually four projectors, four different movie projectors on the bottom shelf of the electronics aisle at the Value Village. And I checked them all out. A couple of them would have been about a $10 investment to make $20 or to sell for $20, $25, so I didn't bother. This baby here, my $10 Canadian investment is probably going to be listed for anywhere between $90 and $110. I'm going to double check the comps. Working condition, in the great condition that it's in with a working lamp, uh, I'm thinking it's going to go in the $90 to $110 range on uh, Buy It Now. I'm going to try for buy it now first and see how much action it gets. I might lower the price a little bit and try an auction. A couple of ones that I saw that sold, they went by auction and they got up to about $80 US with like 25, 30 bids. So I think I'm going to do the buy it now just for a bit to see what kind of traction it gets. And then I will uh, change it over to an auction if, if things don't go with it. But I, I had so much fun thrifting this week. Finally, after two months of not really having fun while I was out thrifting, uh, I definitely had fun and I found some great items. There's still a couple more. Actually, uh, real quick, I got this guy. It's one of the Serta sheep. Serta on this side. Number one. Number one, baby. He's uh, on this site already for $17 free shipping if you want to check him out. So that was another one of my $1 finds at the Goodwill. Uh, the Value Village, actually. That was at the Value Village in St. Catherine. So, anyhow, that's what sold this week. That's what I was able to thrift this week. As for what's coming up, Saturday is my yard sale. There is a community-wide yard sale held every year, every year in the city that I live in here. So, uh, I, I couldn't remember when it was. And finally, last weekend, saw the notification that it was coming up this weekend. So, I signed up for it. And there's, there's 50 to 75 or more houses that sign up to do this community-wide yard sale. And so there's a lot of people that come from all over the area and, and they can download the list of houses right from the uh, city's website. But I've also done some advertising on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji just to bump things up a little bit. So yeah, yard sale. And uh, we'll see how I do. I'll let you know next video how I do. It's uh, going to be interesting. I've got a lot of stuff. I, I didn't realize how much stuff I had. So I had to find some sawhorses and big pieces of wood to make fake t false tables and, and that kind of thing. So we'll see how it goes. And I will let you know on a future episode. Thank you very much for dropping by. If you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up down below. That really does help to give it some traction and get it recommended to other people who are doing searches for thrifting type videos. If you'd like to follow along on the entire journey, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time a new episode is uploaded. Right now, usually once per week. Thanks again for dropping by. I will see you very soon on another episode of M Cubed. Cheers. Mm -hmm.